God, driving is difficult. I don't think I can ever do it. You can do it. What's there in driving? Hi guys. Good morning. Good morning. So it is what? 10.30 on a Saturday morning. And my husband and I are just getting out of bed. If my husband is still in bed, it's praying. But I'm just getting out of bed. And <clears throat> I'm saying this because there is this tweet that made round on Twitter and Instagram this week about how girlfriends that go to their boyfriend's house on weekends and don't wake up before 8 o'clock and no wife material. <laughs> like when you go to your boyfriend's house and you're still sleeping by 8 or 1, your boyfriend should send you packing because you're not a wife material. You should be up before 8 o'clock on Saturday morning to sweep, mop, make him breakfast and all that good stuff or bad stuff if you ask me. <laughs> anyway, my also instead advice is that girlfriend stay in your house on weekends because that's how you lose credibility that's how she finishes to enter the situation because why are you even going to visit on weekends in the first place hang out on weekends you necessarily don't have to do sleepovers but if you must do i mean <laughs> don't pretend show your true color but don't do really what are you going there to do anyway that's what i came here to say <laughs> see my house is still very much untidy like very untidy and I just want to start to do what I can do and we'll see as the day progresses. I want to make more money this morning. I started yesterday. I soaked the beans yesterday. But by the time I was I was just tired, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Let's find something else to eat. So I had something else for dinner last night. But I really still want to eat the moi moi. So that's what we'll do this morning. And let's go. Hazard. Do you know that I'm not pressing the accelerator? Please press the accelerator. There's a car behind us. There's a car behind us. Oh my goodness. Baby, she, I told you now. You told me what? Thunder? No, I'm going straight so that the car can go. <laughs> so that the car can go. She had no way to press your brake. Yeah, brake, brake. Hey! <laughs> oh yeah, the bus. Reverse for me. <laughs> break down. Break up or break down? Break is this and this and break. Eh hey, no, this outbreak is down. Eh, uh, it's break down, little more so. Oh okay, sorry. Oh yeah. So now I'm change to reverse. Reverse. Okay. Your uh, leg off. Leg off completely. Turn my hand, right? Maybe turn it very well, Joe. Okay, you fellow bad beer, man. <laughs> Freaking done now. <laughs> yeah, I put it back. Baby, you're not directing me. Don't put it back. Go on, go on. <laughs> go on, clear all the cars. She'll look for what you Baby, you're not directing me. God, driving is difficult. I don't think I can ever do it. You can do it. What's there in driving? Baby, now there's a car behind you called the Marco Brick hey, Band. <coughs> Turn for me, Daddy. <laughs> oh my god, ah, ah. baby, I don't know what you are doing, but there's a car behind you, and you are supposed to move. Uh -huh. ah. oh break, break. That place is a little bit slow, so you have to be careful. Hi guys, good morning. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? So, I want to make breakfast, right? And this breakfast I have been craving. No, not craving. I saw it yesterday on Instagram. So I follow a lot of um what's it called? I follow a lot of food content creators. 
even people, somebody people used to tell me that oh maybe you cook so well you eat so well like your food uh, whatever is not boring but that's because it's not because i think of those things myself it's because i follow a lot of food content creator anytime i'm just like in a jam i just go on instagram and scroll on all the pages of the content creators i follow i'm definitely sure that i will find something i can find village right whatever i'm going to find something and i'll cook right so yesterday i was just minding my business on instagram then i saw this i'm not even sure i followed that person but it was bread and sardine toast i immediately called my husband please dear i'm to buy sliced bread when you're coming and yeah, he got the sliced bread. And I'm making breakfast. <laughs> I don't know why I'm excited about it, but I am excited. It is fast and it is delicious. So let's do this together, okay? So, can you see me? <laughs> this is everything that we need. Bread, butter, sardin, tartos. This is the style of the show. This thing is so expensive right now. But we move then, um, a banana pepper. She used powdered pepper, but I don't have powdered pepper. I have um, paprika and cayenne pepper. I don't think it will be up enough. So, we'll juice this. Yeah, baby, come and me open this thing. Please. I cannot be stressing me because I said I should stay at home. Is you stressing me because I'm at home? you doing so i just want to wrap up this vlog you guys i cannot properly sit i cannot properly walk i cannot properly do anything i started exercising this week again this week right and man my muscles are just like well you took a break you deserve the pain so deal with it i'm like come on at least my body is supposed to know that okay this girl actually just took a break she's part of us but she took a break so let us spare her the pain this time but no your body would always find a way to tell you that consistency is key i'm like oh. guys my muscles have been paining me so i started exercising again on tuesday i don't really do anything extraordinary i don't even go to the gym yet so i just usually run so i run in my estate i just go around the blocks like three four times and i do like 15 minutes um home workout on youtube right and i didn't even run on tuesday i only did you know i only brought out the 15 minutes home workout on youtube to just start with something and if i tell you that i could not even do five minutes five minutes of exercise it was problem i'm like you know what we're gonna have to take a break i was struggling to breathe and you guys <laughs> oh, let me tell you a story a quick story time right so last year it's almost even one year now it was last year august i was um so i woke up in the morning you know ready to go my usual self so the first night in the morning when i wake up on a good day is i exercise I pray exercise no i exercise so during my exercise is when i do like my <laughs> morning devotion if that makes sense like a prayer walk i'm used to doing prayer walks ever since i was in university right so 
so that's why i do three four times that takes like 35 to 40 minutes so i do like speaking in tongues round and round and round like that anyway that day that's how i woke up i took my i wore my uh, sport clothes and i went downstairs as i got downstairs i went to my starting point right and i, I started to run i didn't do half of the first round i was already feeling like okay let me just take a break let me walk maybe my body is still trying to wake up so i i walked then when i walked a bit i got to like the entrance of i got to an entrance where i can take back to my flat i said okay let me go back upstairs to take water maybe that's the mistake i make or maybe that's the mistake i made i didn't take water this morning so i took that entrance and i was walking just walking at this time i'd become very very light like very faint and you know because it was early in the morning the estate workers were already around the people that clean and everything so they were already around so i just saw in front of me i saw like a staircase where i could just sit down to catch my breath i, I sat down to catch my breath right so these people were already looking at me because i think they already they know me like you know i run almost every morning so they know me so i sat down to catch my breath and the next thing i knew in fact i didn't know <laughs> i didn't know again i sat down to catch my breath and i'm like okay i think i'm okay now let me stand up and go upstairs take the elevator to go upstairs and you know get water so i stood up as i stood up the next thing i knew i was on the floor back up oh my god so these people, because they were already looking at me, so they were at a lot. As I just, as I was going down, they were rushing at me, like they carried me. I think the only thing I struggled to do was put my phone in my pocket. Like, I just held my phone tightly and put it in my pocket. I think I was conscious enough to do that. Then I whispered my unit number to the, to the cleaners. Then I went, like, I just passed out. The next thing, I think they went to call my husband and he came running downstairs. The next thing I knew, I knew I knew that he carried me. I could feel how he carried me up the stairs. Then the next thing I knew, I woke up in bed. What? <laughs> that was the first time in my life that I fainted. So anytime I'm exercising, and it wasn't anything because I mean I did my vitals after that. Everything was okay with me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so anytime I'm exercising and it feels like, hey, I just say, you know what? Let's take a break. We're going to continue later because this is not going to be the end of me. I'm doing this to be fit. <laughs> it's not going to be the other way around. So on Tuesday when I started, I barely did five minutes. Then Wednesday, I increased to 10 minutes. Then yesterday, I did like 15 minutes. Then, but my muscles have been, they've not been playing with me. Like I'm in pain. I mean severe pain sorry for that long gist that gist is almost a year old so you guys deserve to hear right anyway so I just want to end this vlog today today is Friday so if you are wondering what I look like today on the 29th of July this is it <laughs> this is what I look like on the 29th of July 2022 and today is my best friend's birthday happy birthday baby girl I love you I love you so much I wish you all the best things in life you know I got you I got you I got you that girl is old anyway another gist this is supposed to be wrapping up but this is like a full-time story time <laughs> let me tell you another story you guys saw that disaster that my driving lesson was you know number one thing i want to say is when they say that your husband should not teach you how to drive i think it's a, i think it's true because i've never seen my husband shout at me as much as he shouted at me that day my friend drive my friend move this car <laughs> easy man easy <laughs> so when they say that your husband should not teach you how to drive it is true but you guys do you know that i've learned how to drive twice twice the first time i learned how to drive was 16. my father taught me how to drive at 16. but let me tell you let me now tell you what happened so you know i was already fine it was automatic i'm never going to drive a manual car never 
so it was automatic and you know i was already okay with driving that's how one day in church after church i told my dad that i would like to drive back home because it wasn't far like home to church is not far it was like a maybe five minutes drive and it was like a straight road so i told my father that i would like to take the family home that's how <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys, everybody was in the car. My mom, my three siblings were at the back. My dad was beside me. I was in the driver's seat. And I did not know what happened. I don't know what happened. I put the, I put the gear on reverse. I put it on reverse. And I pressed the accelerator. And it was like a slope. Oh my God. That's how... <laughs> You already know what happened. Oh my Jesus. It was like I was going to kill my family that day. Since that day, I said, Ha! Ah, this is the end of it. Never am I ever going to do this anymore. Then, I did that from that day, trust me, that was the end. I did not touch the car. Like, if you are driving, good luck to you. I, I, do, I did not care. Then, fast forward to when I finished law school. That was many years after. I finished that I was supposed to get a car. Somebody was supposed to get me a car. <laughs> Boy ditched me. That is why you should not put your trust in men. But story for another day. <laughs> I legit paid for, you know, driving school. I went to driving school. I did everything I was supposed to do. Like I was good at it. But because I didn't have a car to practice afterwards, it just left me. As in, it left me. So. I'm like, I beg, I beg, moving on with my life. Even when my friends would say, maybe would you drive like their own car? I'll be like, no, I'm not driving because let's, if something is going to happen, let it be with my own car. Let me not, I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't have that strength and energy. So it just left me. But now I'm just like, come on, girl. Like this, this is the, this is the simplest thing you should know how to do. Why would you not know how to drive a car? So I said, let me start to learn how to drive a car because Masma Shakara is getting too much. You just say, oh babe, can I can you quickly drop me at the mall? Maybe I go, <laughs> baby, drive the car. I'm like, hello. <clears throat> I'll just be like, oh, I just quickly want to go to Antilara's place. I'm like, if you can drive now, is it not good? So I'm like, you know what? I now even want to learn how to drive. <sighs> oh my goodness. All my fears came back to me. It was it's just been a disaster you guys it's been a disaster i'm going to try one more time if i don't get it i'm just gonna leave it like maybe i'm just going to be driven all my life i don't mind <laughs> at this point i just need to armor so that i can i just need to armor quickly so that i can employ a driver because i don't understand it i don't understand it. like when i get on the steering i legit my heart legit starts pumping really fast it's like I'm going to eat somebody. I don't know, you guys. It was a disaster. But I'm going to try again. I think maybe this weekend I'll try again. Then, if it works out fine. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. I did my best. <laughs> I've ranted a lot. I've, I've talked for 12 minutes. This is a whole vlog. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you enjoyed this vlog, please and please and please and please give it a thumbs up remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not and leave me a comment in the comment section let me just know that you enjoyed the vlog till next time i come your way i hope that you do well and god bless you this weekend i want to film a video on my old man i'm going to drag him because because we took a break he has come back to his normal reset and you know his normal reset is camera shy don't put the camera on my face blah 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 but I think I need to work my magic and get him back into the mood. <laughs> so this weekend we'll film a sit down video and upload it next week. So look out for that. So next time I come your way, I hope that you do well and God bless you. Bye. <laughs>